Good morning guys, welcome back to another Daily Juice. I'm up and out this morning, as you can see by the title of this video, for something exciting, for something that I haven't had for ages. And I can't wait, but I'm actually running late, so I need to go. Okay, I'm on the way, a nice brisk walk. I'm running a little bit late this morning, I think because we haven't had appointments in so long, because everything's obviously been cancelled. Uh, we haven't had a need to be on time for anything, so... I think I need to work on my time management. I think I'll make it just in time. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm excited to film this one because I haven't had a haircut since like all months ago, obviously, and I'm really in need of one. So today's gonna be a good day. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please consider hitting subscribe. We recently found out that about 60, about 52%, I think it is now, of you guys watching aren't subscribed. So if you could hit subscribe, that would really mean a lot to us. That'd be really cool. I just messaged the place I usually go, the Lift Salon in BGC. I, I messaged them, I really like what they do there, they always do a really great job. So I messaged them on Facebook asking if they were open again. And they said yes, they said um, usually it costs 950 pesos for like a cut and blow dry, which I think is quite good. It's with their like senior stylist. They said they're charging and said now 1,100 because there's a 150 peso sanitation fee, which is really good. So it means that I'm definitely going to be in good hands. They're doing a great job with them. Um, like, I, d I didn't want to go somewhere that I felt weren't taking the necessary proportions to keep everyone safe. So I'll bring you guys along with me today. We'll see what they're doing. We'll see how different it's going to be because obviously it's not going to be a usual haircut. Everyone's going to be wearing masks for one. I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along today to see how it goes and get some of this chopped off. screens and stuff, they're all wearing the face masks and the eye masks and stuff so it's really really good. All good, all finished. This is the place just here. Where is it? Yeah. The list and they're saying that they've been kind of quiet recently. They opened up a month ago and um, they've been kind of quiet since they reopened so if any of you guys are in the area highly recommend them. Ask for Beth and they just do a really great job and it's just so nice to have nice clean hair again. And I don't know what it is, like, when, when I was getting my hair washed and stuff, George and I used to get, um, like, massage things uh, booked on an app quite regularly. Because uh, we're, like, editing, punched over a desk, and it, you get kind of sore. So we kind of got into the routine of having quite regular massages. And I was getting my hair um, shampooed and conditioned and stuff, and they give you a little head rub. And it was just so nice, because I haven't had a massage in months. So it was, obviously it wasn't, like, a full one, but it was just really nice, so... That was a great way to start the day. Um, I'm now thinking we're going to go back and see George. He just texted me, said he's hoovered, which is great news. But I'm thinking of picking up like a juice of something. I feel kind of, I'm quite warm, so I quite like a little something nice and fruity, something refreshing. Maybe head to a little spot now on the way home. 
something I've noticed recently, so obviously there's a lot of regulations in place now to keep everyone safe, like the certain directions that you have to walk and things. And um, the guards now have like a, you might be able to see it behind me, they have like a little sign that says wear a mask and socially distance. So instead of having to be like, excuse me, socially distance, they can just hold this sign up, which I think is really good. And um, on the running track, the guy that kind of mans that has a little sign on the front of his bike. And if someone's not wearing a mask, he'll like point to it or hold the sign up. So that's something I've noticed recently. I felt like it would be good to document the haircut today because the rest, the rest of quarantine, like any updates, anything that's changed, we vlogged it. This felt like a good idea just to bring you guys along today because, I mean, normally with a haircut, you don't have someone with like a big face shield on and like all these separators and stuff. So it felt very different to normal. But I'm glad I went, glad I did it. And I think there's an exciting package waiting for us at home. George just texted me about it. So we'll show you that in a second when we get back. Hang on. Okay. Uh, nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, like it a lot around your fringe. Yeah. Perfect. Who perfect. thinks I should be next, guys? Good morning, by the way. Hello. Top tip by a large 22 ounce. Share it. Two full glasses here. Much cheaper. Hack. This is my breakfast. We haven't eaten yet today, but there's a good reason we haven't eaten yet, and you'll find out very soon. I have a little bit of good news, guys. Can you notice? <laughs> Can you spot anything on this camera? It's a little bit different. Check this out. These arrived today, we ordered these from Lazada. Hopefully it means when we vlog out and about in the wind noise, you're not gonna get that like, <sighs> that horrible, horrible noise that you get when, when people vlog outside in the wind. Hopefully these little mufflers will help. But Lucy is right, we've had a delivery. Shall I show them now? Yeah. We've had a delivery which is gonna sort out our lunch today. A company saw our burger video, best burger in Manila, and they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. We think we have the best burger in Manila. And we were like, interesting, interesting. And they asked if they could send us one of their DIY burger kits for quarantine. So that arrived today. Let me show you, Luce. This is what arrived. Whoa, it's heavy. And I'm quite happy because wow. there seems to be four each. I mean, two each. There seems to be four buns here. So we've got the buns. Four. We have some ketchup or some kind of sauce. Yeah. I'm not sure yet what's in there. Okay. And I take it the burgers are in the main And then the bit. burgers are in the main cool. bit. They're like, they've given you nice. full instructions. They've given me full instructions, have they, George? <laughs> but they're not giving you full instructions as well. Well, okay, we'll do it together. That's cool. You can check them out here, guys. We'll, we'll let you know if it's good. We'll give you a full review. Get a girlfriend who brings you green juice. That's so 2020, isn't it? So if you are a international viewer, an international juicer, actually, I have no idea what that means because everyone's international, because we, live, we all live in some, we all live somewhere. What I mean is if you're watching anywhere outside the Philippines, US, UK, we know we have a lot of viewers in those countries, so many different countries, which is so cool. You may have seen on Instagram, we released a brand new exclusive piece of merch for our international merch store, which was for the first time ever a Juicy Vlog t-shirt. And we had a lot of people saying, is this going to be available in the Philippines? When it first launched, we were kind of testing the market, seeing if you guys would like it. Uh, but from the feedback we got from comments, from messages, it seemed like you guys wanted this on the Philippines merch store. So we've been talking to merch buyer the last couple of days and they have mocked us up some samples to wear. This is the medium for Lucy and for me, the XL. So this is nice. I like it a lot guys. So as soon as we approve these samples with merch buyer, we got to check like the quality, the colors, the fit, as soon as we're all happy, then these guys will go on sale to you guys if you're interested in this. We will let you know when, either in a video or on Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you do. Ooh, they look good. Crispy. They do, don't they? Crispy. <laughs> Yum. So you put them in some pan? Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak today. We you put some in some pan. Put them in the pan with some butter, right? Yeah, and then we're going to put Delicious. some house dressing mm -hmm. on the top of the bun. Just like this. I've mentioned it before, but I did used to work in McDonald's for four years. 
when I was younger. And so this is like, I used to make Why hundreds. Why are you making this? I know, I used to make hundreds of burgers you per day. You should be making this, not me. Just stood there dressed. You had like all the different ingredients in front of you and there was a certain order to make the burgers. You'd have like um, eight or 16 even at a time. And you just go like ketchup, 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 onions, onions, onions. Pickles, 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 cheese, 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 cheese. And you have to, the patties would cook in McDonald's in like, I think it was less than a minute. Maybe, I actually can't remember, 90 seconds, 60 seconds, something like that, really quick. And by the time they had cooked, you had to have all the buns dressed. And then you take it back over to the grill and then you put them on and wrap them, serve them. But this isn't fast food, this is, this is. Love and attention has gone into this by the company who put these kits together and also by Lucy who's reading the instructions and also putting it together. <laughs> We've skipped the bacon because, I don't know, I personally don't particularly like bacon in a burger. I like just tasting it for what it is. I think it's wagyu beef, we've got some cheese and we're just gonna get the real true taste of this thing. Yum. Yum. Ooh, wow. noisy. Cool. Oh, wow. I'm so ready for this. Smells so, amazing. so ready. Okay, and then you don't want tomato, but I will. Is it lettuce or tomato first? I've got to do it properly. Lettuce first. Wow. And then we will put the tops on. Wow. Yum. So here we have finished article thank you so much this looks great flash their instagram here you guys check them out you can take a bite okay go well, on now, yeah get in there get in there okay. why wait mm. how is it loads of flavor tasty mm. nice uh, i can't wait to get my mouth around this it's actually so good really the flavor is so nice it's huge Oh my god. I love it. Really? I don't know what it is about it. It tastes like Ooh, different to other burgers. The bun looks so soft. Mmm. Wow. Oh, I love burgers. I love burgers. Very good.